Hey everybody, I want to show you this really cool trick to be able to add additional key commands beyond what logic can even give you. So for instance, there's one here that I want to be able to add, and it's the sort tracks by, and I want to have some key commands for these. And so you can see sort tracks by. If we did a search for this up here, you can see there's no options. So we can't actually assign something if there's no option here for it. That's where we have to actually use the system a little bit. So in System Preferences, under Keyboard, under Shortcuts, under App Shortcuts, we're going to add a plus right here. And so you can see we have different things for all of our different apps. We can do all applications. And what I want to do is go down to Logic Pro X. So then we have to get the exact MIDI title here. And with this, let's go back out into Logic for a second. It's going to be Instrument Name. So we can just do that one straight as it is. Instrument Name. And let's do the key command, Command Option 1. And we'll add it. Now we'll know if this works because we'll come in here and you'll see that it got added to the right side there. So it has a visual indicator that it worked. And then if we had a bunch of instrument channels out here, then we could actually organize them by name. And let's do new tracks. And let's make 10 of them. And with each of these, we'll just really quickly throw on a couple things. We don't need to do all of them, but now command option one, and it's going to reorganize. The whole point of this is that we can add additional key commands to the ones that are listed or available. And this isn't just for logic. You can do this for any of your applications. If you're doing Pro Tools, which you can't really customize things, and you can actually add custom key commands to any of the things that you have here. For instance, let's also just check this out for a second. So inside Logic, we have this thing that says New, right? So let's add another one. Let's call this New Keyboard Shortcut. Let's do 3 Modifier C. Now come back into Logic see what happens with this it actually switched it so it's overriding it now for that one so if i do all of those together it gives me the option so you can actually change some of the ones that we have and you can also see the original one is still working because logic still accepts it because it has its own keyboard shortcut so you can actually have multiple key commands for the same thing if you want Okay, so I hope this was kind of useful that you can see there's another way to do key commands in Logic or any of your apps using the system preferences.